a very good morning to you. It is now almost seven o'clock. I've decided to not take the bus today and drive. I am still feeling like shit. It's um, not really um, well yet, but hey, you know, I've got shit to do at the office. So I'm gonna feed the dogs and I'm gonna head out. I have to grab my coffee because I'm dying for one. And I'll see you in a bit. So we're here. I'm gonna get coffee. I can angle this properly. There we go. So, it's fun. So, we've arrived at my work area, and so this is the area I work in. On the waterfront. That's my building. So, it's a little nifty. Um, And that's the view from my office. Yep, yeah, I can't do anything about the blinds. It's um it's as good as it gets. I've just finished work. No. So I got home and the dogs were pretty much were excited to see me. That's Zeno you know, and he has to carry um, how many things in his mouth now? Two. Or as many as he can get. Zeno, come here. Can you say hello to the camera? Hello. No. Zeno. Come here, Zeno. Yep, that's him. He has to um Kuba. That's Kuba. He was very excited. Kuba, come here. You want to give me a kiss on? Kiss on? There he is. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Good boy. Kiss. Oh, yes. Did you? Hello. See his big nose. He's got a big nose. He's got a big nose. Who's a big nose? Can I help you, Zeno? Is there something you would like? Hi. <gasps> Ow, you are scratching me. You're not being cute. Ow. Yeah, he was trying to get my attention apparently and What is it? Look at him. Can we help you? Is there something in particular that you want? Or need? Tell me. Because I'm sh Ah! Again. Okay. I know what you want. You want... They want the biscuit. Nom 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 nom. Well, let's see. So it's one for Zeno. Good boy. And one for Kuba. <sighs> what a day. What a day. I'm so tired. I'm tired. So we're off to the gym. I've got my pedometer. Pedir. I've got my pedometer on. So it's suddenly very warm in here. Let's get that fixed up. Now, a few days ago, I went to the doctor to get a referral to see an allergist because I actually had 
a life-threatening episode of a possible food allergy reaction. Um, and um, so I got the referral. I got the referral to see this doctor in Hobart. And so I, you know, rang them up to um, make an appointment, um, which is all well and good. So the, apparently, the soonest or the earliest the doctor can see me, it's on the uh, 6th of January or the 8th of January, but pretty much next year. Uh, and now it's just the 1st of November. So, I mean, that's a little bit silly, don't you think? Um, if I'm going to see a doctor, a specialist, who is, whose job is going, whose job is going to be determining what might kill me, and he can't see me until next year, so what do I do? I asked her if he was the only allergist in town, in Hobart, and she said yes, and I find it rather hard to believe, I mean, really, even even for Tasmania's population of half a million people, one allergist? Really? I mean, what if I get a, a reaction from now, you know, in, in the meantime, like, and that kills me? I mean, that doesn't sound very um, useful, does it? You know, and, and so, and, and when we're talking about finding out, you know, it's not like I already know what's, what, what causes an, a reaction and I can therefore avoid it, but this is like, um, I, I don't know what causes the reaction and therefore I don't know what to avoid. All I know is that I, well, lactose won't kill me. So if I accidentally had you know, cheese or non-lactose-free milk, I won't die. I'll just blow it up like a balloon and explode and have diarrhea. Well, that's pretty much it. Like, but we're talking about food allergy. Like, I mean, my episode was like the muscles around my chest were, 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 were closing on to my heart and I couldn't breathe and my, my, my windpipe was closing up. So, that's an allergic reaction to something. So. Hey guys, so yeah. here we go. So gym was pretty good. Uh, not the usual hardcore stuff I do, but that's good because I need to ease back into uh, the routine. Um, yeah, so Tasmania has banned plastic bags. Um, plastic grocery bags. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm looking for a parking. Oh! So I'm home now. It was a good workout session. Got, um, got my stuff for dinner. I'm gonna make chicken soup tonight. And look at all this mess. I need to clear up all this crap. Look at that. Hi. So I almost destroyed the soup because butter fingers. Puppies are having their food, as you can see right there. Nom 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 nom. Ja. It's getting a little bit chilly, but not as bad as before. House is a complete mess. The bed is a complete wreck. Seriously, it's just me and the two dogs. And I don't, I am not such a messy sleeper. But this one, this one, this one, the, the culprit. What is it, Papa? What is it? What did I do? What did I do? What did you do? You're always messing things up. That's what you do. Because he thinks he owns the place. Well, in his mind, he does. Mm -hmm. 
Very perplexing. Right, let's see if we can get Mikey. I'm just so bored, guys. I'm just so bored. That's not Mikey. That's Mikey. My soup looks like it's gonna explode. Battery's dying. So it's like, don't answer my call day. It's not answering my call. Damn it. Voicemail. Anyway. In any case, I hope you guys had a lovely day. And have a very lovely Friday. And have a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow. My battery's dying. So have an hysterical day. See ya.